If you love useful Android applications, then you are in luck because in this video, I've got 7 useful Android applications to show you and most of these applications are not on the Google Play Store but you can grab them with the links provided in the video description. The first app is called Screenshot Go and if you are someone who takes so many screenshots, then this application allows easy finding with search. The app organizes all your screenshots and makes finding a particular screenshot easy by using the search bar at the top to search for any word in the particular screenshot you are looking for. Aside that, the app provides a quick button called the Go button for taking screenshots which will then be added to a category you select. It also recognizes any new screenshot you take and lets you categorize it. Again, you can extract text from any screenshots which you can select to copy and paste anywhere. And so for those of you who love taking screenshots of inspiring quotes from Instagram and Pinterest, you can use this application to simply take the screenshot and extract the quotes. It is an ad-free application with a simple and organized interface, so if you are interested, then it is free to install, link in the video description. In my best apps of this month's video, I showed you Auto D&D which puts your phone into Do Not Disturb mode automatically when you open certain applications of your choosing. Same way with this application called Rotation Manager, your phone will automatically rotate into the selected orientation when you open certain applications. Once you install and allow all the necessary permissions, you have three different orientations you can apply on whichever application you add. For example, I've set my PDF reading application to landscape orientation with this application. So whenever I open any document with this app, it automatically enters landscape mode. So maybe you have some applications which you always use in landscape mode, then this application called Rotation Manager will automate that process. I have been using this file managing application for a very very long time. It is called Mixplorer or Mix and I love every part of this application. It has several features which makes file management very easy and smooth. Some of my favorite features include the history section which shows you some files you've recently opened so you can quickly tap to open without navigating to the actual file location. Ability to open two tabs at the same time which makes copying and pasting files from one folder to another very quick and easy. Quick selection of multiple files a tab which contains several useful tools and so many more features this application has. Trust me, you will love using this application. It is advanced and simple to use at the same time. It is free and open source. I really recommend this to you if you need a change of file managers for your Android smartphone. Another cool file managing application you will love using is called Fossify File Manager. And if you've been following this channel recently, you will realize that I've been showing you some open source applications by Fossify, some being Fossify Voice Recorder, Fossify Music Player, and in my recent video, I showed you Fossify Notes. So this file managing application is very easy and lightweight and not advanced compared to Mixplorer, but this also has seamless integration. The UI is very clean and simple and also makes file handling very easy. In the settings, there are some useful tweaks to help you have a good experience with the application. And as I've always mentioned, it has no ads just like most open source applications. Then we have Gallery, which is also by Fossify. I recently received a comment from a viewer asking for some Gallery app recommendations. And so Gallery by Fossify is a very clean and simple application, so if you want to switch from your default Gallery app to a new and modern one. It has the same vibes like the file manager by Fossify I mentioned, it provides dual viewing options, either to view your media organized into folders or day-to-day. -day. You can find video settings, image settings, and a lot of useful settings and even security settings as well. It is customizable. You can actually find third-party free and open source system applications like voice recorder, music player, notes app, and more by Fossify on the Google Play Store and also on Android. Still around file management, this key is a free and open source application which analyzes your phone storages and shows you how your spaces are being used by applications and files on your phone. It displays a clean and smooth experience in navigating the application, 
comes with Material U Design which has dynamic theming. There are several storage management applications which are mostly full of ads and have pretty boring UI and are not even secure. This one is very secure and does not even have the ability to delete, rename or edit your files. It only shows you how the spaces are being used. You probably might use this information to go ahead and create space on your phone if you don't need certain applications or files which will be made known to you by this application called Disky. And then we have the last but not least which is Voice GPT. And I know I have mentioned this application before in a previous video. However, it's hard to make this list because of its better functionality and also let some new viewers find out about it. And also it is not on the Google Play Store. The app when installed can replace your Google Assistant and give you AI generated results. And it works with ChatGPT. So instead of going into ChatGPT to type a prompt, you can activate the voice chat same way you would when activating Google Assistant. And the human-like voice is incredible. What are some tips for having a LinkedIn professional account? That is very informative, thank you. If you love using ChatGPT, you can have a better experience with its voice chat as well. I personally love using open source applications due to the smooth experience they bring and especially with most of them having no ads. So let me know down in the comment section if you love this category of applications and I will definitely bring you more of it. In fact, my previous video was about some open source video playing applications, so if you haven't seen that yet, Click on the card at the top right corner or on the video at the end screen to watch that. Consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed this video and as always, thank you for watching.